Well, I want to welcome you back again. Uh, we're still taking a look at our 2015 all aluminum body F-150 pickup truck. And we're going to take note of a few things that's uh, required as we're changing the outer aperture panel. Uh, if you look here, we've basically laid out and you'll notice that there's both pink and there's yellow marks. That's because to install the SPRs, it actually takes different mandrels. So this is somewhat beneficial for us so that we can make sure rather than having to change out the mandrels in between, we can finish one type of SPR and then move on with the next. You also see that we have quite a few part numbers written down along here. That's because in all of these different locations, when you go into Ford's recommended installation, it calls out different part numbers. So again, that's what we did to try and get all that organized ahead of time. When we come back over to the truck, and it's pretty straightforward. We've cleaned all of the areas where adhesive or bonding agent's going to go, and that's down to raw aluminum. We've contacted Ford, as we have perhaps mentioned earlier, if you've watched some of our other videos, there's about seven different types of rigid, semi-rigid foams. Uh, since the majority of these are intact, we aren't actually replacing the foam itself, but they did give us some specific recommendations of making sure that those do have some sort of bonding agent between what is existing and the new part that's being installed so that we avoid uh, any type of rattle or noise in the future. So in just a minute, we've already test fitted this on here. You'll see on our website, we have a few pictures of all the doors, fenders, everything hung before we actually went ahead and installed this piece, both with the structural adhesive and with the SPRs and other uh, bonding materials. But we're gonna stop this for a minute, get the part hung up here, get all of our adhesives on, and then we'll do another short video as we actually install some of the SPRs for you. So stay tuned and we'll update you in just a little bit.